When American traveller Jacob Nemec told his relations he was going on holiday to Iraq, it didn't go down well. In fact, it sparked panic in his family. Pretty much everybody in my life told me it's not safe to come. Uh, I got a text from my grandma for the first time in five years saying, you know, just being near your grandmother and, you know, to respect me, I would appreciate if you don't go. But Nemec isn't alone in visiting Iraq. Tourists are trickling back into the country, lured by a host of historic sites and tentative signs of stability. After decades of turmoil, the situation has gradually improved since the ousting of Islamic State in 2017. Around the country, cranes are going up as cities rebuild. Now some holidaymakers are back to see the sites, though there's no exact data on how many. Nemec and visitors from Russia and Britain toured the mazy ruins of ancient Babylon. Other attractions include the country's vast deserts and marshlands. In Baghdad, Tourism Minister Ahmed Fakak al-Badrani says tourists are unofficial ambassadors for the country. They are messengers who tell these states that Iraq has returned to being a safe country and is not a red line, as some say. Maybe the issue needs some time, but not too long. The situation is being shed light on through the international media. He says work is underway to build new hotels to international standards. And the uptick in tourism helps Iraq's drive to diversify its economy away from dependence on oil. But Western governments still advise against travel to the country. The US State Department says anyone who does go should write a will and make funeral arrangements, just in case. With warnings like that, it might be a while before anyone calls Iraq a tourist hotspot.